May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. June 4, 2023 The Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that all who believe in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world in order to judge the world, but in order that the world may be saved through him. Whoever believes in him is not judged. But whoever does not believe is already judged, because he does not believe in the name of the only begotten Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can I humbly open myself to the mystery of the Most Holy Trinity? and invite a deeper and more intimate knowledge of God into my life. Therefore, go forth and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have ever commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, even to the consummation of the age. Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20 Of all the great feasts we celebrate within the Church throughout the year, today's solemnity presents us with a mystery that is so deep and transcendent that our eternity will be spent in perpetual contemplation. The Trinity, the life of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, will never get old, never be fully understood, and will be the cause of our everlasting adoration and joy. Though the Church has used philosophical concepts to explain the Trinity, no human concept or description will ever fully explain who God is. Though we can point to some general truths about God, we will never be able to fully depict the inner essence, depth, beauty, and omnipotence of the Trinity. As we consider that fact, it's important to understand that the Trinity is not first a theological mystery we try to define. Rather, the Trinity is first a communion of persons we are invited to know. We do not primarily come to know God through intellectual deduction. We come to know God through prayerful union with Him. Though theology is exceptionally useful and important, the essence of God is beyond any and every philosophical concept we can define. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are persons. And as persons, they want to be known. And they want to be known primarily through a life of deep and intimate prayer. Praying to one person, of course, is praying to all, since they are one God. But we are nonetheless, called to a relationship of love with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And though our feeble minds may not be able to fully comprehend the essence of God, He will draw us deeper and deeper into a knowledge of Him, if we let Him. Prayer often begins by saying prayers, by meditating upon scripture, and by listening. But true prayer is something much deeper. True prayer is contemplative prayer, that ultimately leads to divine union. Only God can initiate this form of prayer in our lives, and only God, through this deep form of prayer, can communicate himself to us, as he is. Some of the greatest mystics of our church, such as Saint John of the Cross, and Saint Teresa of Avila, explain in their mystical theology that the deepest knowledge of God does not come through concepts or images. In fact, if we wish to obtain a knowledge of God in His essence, we must allow Him to purge every concept of who He is, so that the pure light of His essence can be poured forth upon our minds. This knowledge, they say, is beyond knowing about God. It's the beginning of a knowledge of God. Reflect today, upon the Most Holy Trinity. As you do, say a prayer to God, asking for a deeper and more intimate knowledge of Him. 
Ask him to communicate to you his divine love, and to open your mind and heart to a deeper understanding of who he is. Try to humble yourself before the great mystery of the inner life of God. Humility before the mystery of God means that we know how little we know about him and how little we know of him. But that humble truth will help you move closer to the deeper relationship of love to which you are called. Let us pray. Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, please draw me into a relationship of love with you, who are one God, and three divine persons. May the mystery and beauty of your life, become more known and loved by me each day, through the gift of transforming mystical prayer. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration, as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.